Hello, today I want to share with you a very small lesson about uh, the practical topic how to convert the vertical cross format HDR to a rectangular format supported to by Touch Designer Environment Light. If you download HDR map, you can find a lot of HDR maps in a rectangular format, sometimes in light probe format but sometimes you only find the texture in vertical cross format and uh, in order to convert this texture we need to make some small coding let's delete this project and start from scratch so first let's create a geometry let's make a sphere uh, set a sphere to polygon type and increase the detail level and enable display render flag then we're going to create a camera environment light render top and in order to make this light able to light we need a texture. I'm going to my library and we look for HDR maps. So here I have the typical textures from Back website. So I will take the Office Cross and uh, in order to sample that texture as a cube map we should first convert it to the cube map format. Cube map format is a special uh, data storage type in GPU, which represent this vertical cross as a six sides of a cube, which can be sampled by the direction vector instead of UV coordinates. So for that, we need to choose a mode vertical cross to cube map so now if we click with middle mouse button on the texture we can see that it has cube map texture format instead of uh, any kind of uh, 2d texture then we should create a gelsl multi top connected to the first input and make some small coding as a source for this code, I will take the cube map to a rectangular shader from Shader Toy. Uh, so let's take a look here. So we can copy some strings from this code and convert it to the Touch uh, Designer GLSL standard. So I will just take this and go here inside and paste this code here inside of, inside of the main function so let's take a look so first it was the vector 2v declared which actually should be the uh, uv coordinates of the texture so we don't need so we don't need to use this complex uh, formula from here we just declare v as v u v dot st like here copy and we just write vector 2 v is equal v u v dot st then we don't need the animation of this texture so we remove i time variable and uh, that way we define the reflection vector and using this vector for every pixel of the texture it will be sampled from the cube map so for that we need to use rd vector 3 here instead of vector uh, 2 rd and uncomment this string delete that delete that 
and now we going to receive a error message that undefined variable std to d inputs that's come because the texture coming to the first input is cube map texture so instead of using std to d inputs array which means actually one of 2d texture on inputs we should use a different type for cube maps so we can just go to touch designer documentation and look for glsl category find right glsl top and here we have a documentation about all types of samplers predeclared for touch designer coding 2d inputs 3d inputs 2d array inputs and cube inputs and in order to sample cube inputs we should use sampler cube as td cube inputs so we copy that and replace that by std cube inputs so now we don't have any mistake and voila we have a texture representing the equirectangular picture so now we can also change the resolution so let's make a custom resolution and make it for example 1000 24 by 512 and we can use that as an environment map texture and last thing we need to make is to create a PBR shader which can receive the environment lights and attach it to the geometry and play with parameters of the shader a bit so we can for example reduce the roundness and then we can see the proper reflection coming from this uh, equirectangular texture so if we compare that to the for example to the probe map we can see that this texture works properly so if we use a probe map it makes a distorted reflection so basically that is a correct way and let's make the fine tuning so i will set the camera the ground color alpha to one make a linear fog and set the distances to something like 3.5 5 and fog alpha to 1 so it makes the nice uh, disappearing of object then for example I can also add a circle circle top set it also to the full HD resolution make the background color something like that a bit darker ground alpha to 1 and increase softness and make a bit of softness softness offset and multiply these two guys together and last small trick which always makes the result looking much better is to add a small noise so I will connect the output to the noise top set noise period to zero and go to output and make noise scale something like 0 0.1 and we can also make a bit of noise animation ups time dot seconds multiplied by 0 0.1 seconds and this trick is not only making uh, the picture looking more like film grain but also will fight for quality of picture if you convert the image thanks a lot for looking for that small tutorial and you can find a, a source file for this project on my patreon thank you